Good morning, third grade scientists. So, your assignment activity today is a planning activity. You're just going to need a blank piece of paper, whether it's a plain white piece of paper, like this one that we have in school, you know, we'll hand out and I'll have you plan on that, or whatever piece of paper you have at home. Maybe you've got a back of an old worksheet or some lined paper. Today it's about planning and you're planning a project. Um, you're gonna make a habitat for an animal. And so what we're looking at here, this is one I did for an example. Ours will actually, because of space and materials, we will actually be using a manila folder. And so what will happen is you have one whole manila folder and you're going to open it up and this is your background. This is right here. Here's my example. I did a woodchuck. So you're going to have to, your planning today is to figure out number one, number one, which animal are you going to use? Has to be an animal, all right? The animal could be a bird, a mammal, a reptile, amphibian, fish. I've got a website to help you out with that. I'm going to show it to you. Actually, it's on in the background, right up there on the Promethean board, there's a preview. But what you're going to plan is you're going to plan what your layout will look like, all right? So draw the habitat, get your background drawn. It doesn't have to be colored, but you will want to label it. For example, tree here, this is a hill, um, because if without color, sometimes it's hard to see. Next, well, the first thing you should do is choose your animal because then your background's going to be based on that. So I chose, I've got a moose we did and a woodchuck. And we're, we're using these to show what habitat they survive in. My woodchuck might look like just a standing up fat cat, but it's a woodchuck because I labeled it as such. And so what you need to plan is look at how mine, both of them, I'm gonna come in from the angle, they actually stand up. So they look kind of 3D. And so you're gonna plan those pieces. And what I did is I just kind of thought about what would be in that habitat and planned it. So here I've got a grass, we call this a hummock, and then the hole for the woodchuck to live in, his burrow. I have a tree here. Now this tree, I'm trying to find a way, once I get it finished and built, I'm gonna come in here and I just need a way, I've got a toothpick right now, just need a way to just put the toothpick down so it stays there and then it folds like this. So it'll fold flat like this, huh? this folder. But I made them so they would try to stand up. Here's some tall grasses and I just made those out of note cards. And so you can begin to think about what plants, what water, what hills you have in there. Also, your picture must have the sun. So you got to have the sun. We need the sun. Sun's up there in the corner. Because all the energy for any habitat starts with the sun. And so you see, look at that. We've got bushes, the trees in the background, a moose, he's standing up. My woodchuck over here standing up. Uh, a rock covered in moss, shrubs, and then trees. Here are a couple of pine trees, and there are a couple other different trees made. We used some right here, popsicle sticks, and then leftover scraps of note cards and paper, but we will have construction paper. So in your planning, in your design. First things first, you will go to, there's your website, kidsnationalgeographic.com animals. And if we step back, I think you visited this website before and see all that. Well, I'm gonna scroll up. 
and then we see our different animal types. So you can choose from mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, invertebrates. Your invertebrates like include like crabs and lobsters and insects and octopus, squid, and amphibians. And the best thing is, let's say you pick, I'm going to pick the invertebrates because a lot of times we don't think about those. Animals without a backbone. And so the best thing, they're here in alphabetical order. Pick any animal you want. And the best thing, there it is, load more. There's one you don't see that you want. Oh, a head louse, ew. You can keep scrolling. Look at that, ooh, Luna Moth, Monarch. And we keep scrolling along. And we can continue you, until you find something. Keep loading more. Find what you like. All right? Find the animal that interests you. After you find the animal that interests you, read about it, and then think about what habitat you will need to draw, and then get your white piece of paper, plan it out, maybe to turn it sideways this way. Draw your picture, put your animal in there, and label items so you know what you need to build because we will be building this when we get back to school on March 1st and materials all right like I said note cards these are good because we can draw whatever we need to cut out and then bend them and fold them and really look at that's all I did I taped them down so they stood up same thing with these these are basically note cards see tape them down tape behind there hidden and we have variety of different sizes of popsicle sticks, the large ones, the medium ones, and the tiny tinies. We've got pieces of string, lots of toothpicks. We have paper clips. Um, pipe cleaners might work too. Ooh, that might help me fix my problem with my tree because those would be nice because they're bendy. That flexibility, especially if I want to fold it down, will help. Uh, masking and scotch tape. We have construction paper. Those are your materials. So your goal is to draw your plan out, take a picture of that plan, and submit that for your task in science today. And then bring that paper to school on Monday, March 1st. I will also be able to pull up your pieces on Seesaw, but put it in your folder, bring it to school on Monday, March 1st. All right, guys, have fun drawing this and researching your animal. You can pick any animal you want. Have fun. Bye.